Good morning, children. Welcome back to our online classroom of Shri Gogala Public School, Guruvayur. I am Chair Priya, your computer science faculty. Children, in our last class, we were studied how to use input function. Okay, that is how to read values or how to use data by using the keyword input. Okay, today let's learn a new topic: how to use the output functions. Here we have one function called print. The print statement is used to give your output to the standard output devices. Okay, which is the standard output device? Yes, monitor. Monitor is the standard output device. See, this is the syntax for using the print statement. See here, print objects. Then S C P sep sep for separator operator. Okay, sep is equal to space or separator string. Okay, n is equal to slash n or n string. So the data given in between these square brackets is optional. Okay, it's not compulsory. Clear? The sep operator. You can use this sep as which one? The blank space, or you can use any separator string. Okay, otherwise you can use the slash at the end, or you can use any n string. So this is the optional case. It's not compulsory. See some examples. Print hello. Here yeah, no separator operator. No sep operator. We can only single statement print hello. Then we print the word hello. See here yeah, print fifteen point seven. Here we are printing one integer element. So it will print fifteen point seven. See here this statement print two plus three. So what is the answer? This one is an expression. Here it will print an expression. 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So it will print the answer as 5. Okay. Next statement. Print sum of 2 and 3 is 2 plus 3. Clear? What will be the output of this statement? Yes, when the interpreter executes this statement, it will print like sum of 2 and 3. Okay. The output like this. Sum of Sum of two and three is five. A is equal to five. Then print the double of A A. See here, double of. See the double of in between double quotes. Then use the variable A because here we mention here we define A is equal to five. Then A is in double quotes. Then A is double two. A is double this. Do the operation a into a. Okay, to find the double. See, all the words are separated by commas. Okay, then some words put in double quotes and some words no double quotes. There is no double quotes for a. Here also no double quotes. That means when we use a variable, when that variable in between double quotes, then that variable negatively. Okay, if there is no double quotes, then the value stored in that variable will be printed in your screen. See here, what will be the output of this question or this statement? When the interpreter executes this statement, it will print like double. Double of a is double of a. Here, what is the value stored in this a? A is equal to five. Then double of a is a star two. A star two. Clear. So these are the some examples for the print statement. Okay, you can add number of objects here. Okay, objects means you see this keyword objects. Okay, the objects means what you want to print on your screen. That term is called object. You can add number of objects in the print statement. But remember one thing: each object should be separated by commas. Clear. Now let's see now the features of this print statement. There are three features for print statement. The first feature says that it auto converts the given items to its equivalent strings. That is, if you are trying to print an integer number, then the print statement automatically converts this int into its corresponding string. 
Okay. The second one says that the default SIP operator. Okay. Default SIP operator for print statement is which one? The space. Okay. That is if you didn't give any space or any SIP operator in your print statement, then the default SIP operator space will add. If you give any SIP operator, then that SIP operator will add in between the objects. Okay, so let us look some examples. See the first example. Print my name is Jan. Okay, see here yeah, one, two, three, four. Four words are given. Four words are given in between double quotes, and all the four words are separated by commas. Okay, in print statement, all objects should separated by commas. Okay, so when we execute this statement, see here yeah, no space is given in between these objects. See here yeah, no space and also there is no space, here yeah, no space, here yeah, no space, no space are given. But when it execute, then you will get the answer, my, then space, name, space, is, space, jar. That's why when you didn't give any set operator in the print function, the default set operator, that is the default set operator space will add in between the objects. See, when you give a set operator, see the second example, my name is Johnny, then set physical the dollar. Okay, here I'm giving the set operator as the dollar. Then what will happen? Instead of the space, the dollar symbol will add. So my, then the dollar symbol, name, dollar symbol, is dollar symbol John. Okay, then what will happen when you give two dots? Here I am giving two dots. Then what will happen? Yes, instead of this dollar symbol, these two dollar symbol will be added. Okay, so by using this statement, you can give any set operator in between the objects. Clear? Okay. Next one is Python will automatically add an end of line statement or end of line character at the end of the line if you didn't give any end character. See the example, print my name is John. Okay, then print I am 5 years old. See here we didn't give any end operator. Okay, just like set operator we can give end operator that is end is equal to. Okay, so here we didn't give any end operator. That's why Python will add a default operator as new line character. This slash line slash n we can use for noodle. Noodle means end carriage return key. Okay, Python will use this noodle and character. That's why these two sentences are printed in separate lines. First, my name is Johnny. Then the new line character will add here. The end character, end key. New line character will add here. That's why next line will print out next line. Or next statement will print out next line. See the next example. Print, my name is Johnny and end is equal to dollar. Here, end is equal to dollar. Then, I am 5 years old. Then, what will happen? When these statements are executed, here we are giving end is equal to a one dollar symbol. That's why after the first line, the dollar symbol will add it and continue with the second statement. So here we get the answer as my name is Johnny, dollar, I am five years old. Okay. Let us discuss two more examples. See here, a comma b is equal to 20 comma 30. So the first value 20 will assign to A and second value 30 will assign to B. See the next statement, print A is equal to, see this one is in double quotes. So it is A equal to will print. Here A, no double quotes. So the value stored in this variable will print. N is equal to space. Okay, that's why after this statement, one space will add. The next statement B is equal to B. Okay, so what will be the output? You will get A is equal to 20, then space, then B is equal to 30. This space is because of this N is equal to space. Clear? Then one more example. Name is equal to Johnny, then print up hello, N is equal to space. Here one end operator space. 
then print name no end operator specified then print how one okay then what will be the output see here name is equal to johnny then first print hello so it will print first hello then the end operator space so it will print one space then continue with the same line what is next statement print name so what is the value stored in this name yes johnny so it will print hello space johnny then in this statement here no end operator that's what numeral character will add okay that's why next statement will print on next line what is next statement how are you so the next statement will print on next line clear so now i believe you all understood how to use the print functions in your program so now our input and output functions are all that is input for reading a value and output to print the processor input on the screen okay so please try to do some programs by using these input and output function okay on next lecture video i will explain some programs clear okay see you again with another topic thank you